All right, guys, we're on our 2021 Equinox, and I just want to show uh, where you can get your RPO codes at. And if you don't know what RPO codes are, let me show you real quick here on the scan tool uh, where you kind of need to know what your RPO codes are. Basically, your option, uh, your options on the vehicle that, that you're working on. And I'll show you what I mean here in just a second as soon as we get uh, all connected here. And I'll show you. Now, a lot of times the RPO sticker will be in a gl the glove box or in the trunk. On this particular car, this 2021 Equinox, I can't find it anywhere. So I'll show you where you where you can get it. And why you want to get it. Because I'm just going to go to System Selection. And I'm going to hit ECM. Now, if you look, it's got two different 1.5 liter engines well which one is it well let me show you so if you come out and if you look right here this QR code if you scan it with a cell phone it's going to pop up show options and if you just do full view full text, that will actually show you the all the RPO codes on the vehicle. So now what you can do is you've got two different engines. One's LYT, one's LYX. You look in this RPO code list, if you look right there. LYX. Now, under your underhood sticker will only show 1.5 liter, and it'll have some more numbers there that relate to the emissions uh, options, but it typically won't show your RPO code. So, right here in the RPO list that is specifically for this particular car, LYX is what I want to hit. Uh, now, it's not an N N5. Uh, in F5 because that's a China produced Equinox so I'm gonna hit not equipped for that but now here's four different transmissions that I've got to be able to figure out two of them are six speed so even if you knew that you had a six speed transmission you don't know exactly which one of these to pick well if you look right here in the RPO code list you see where it says uh, MNH MNH so that's that one I want now, if you wasn't 100% sure if you're on an all-wheel drive car, this particular car's got a button that says all-wheel drive. And if you hit that button, it puts it into all-wheel drive. But if you're not sure or you're on a vehicle that does not have a button or any indication, F48. So if you look right there, F48 in the RPO code list. So I know to hit that one. And a lot of GMs, to, to before you're able to actually get specifically into the proper modules and all that, you've got to be able to select all the different RPO code options. So very important to uh, select the right option because if you, especially if you are going to get into active test or special functions, if you're on the wrong option and you're trying to actuate uh, you know, a solenoid or something like that, it may not work because you selected the wrong one so I mean another option is if you just absolutely you know if you don't have a cell phone you're not sure take a guess if if you're not having any luck actuating a particular item that you're trying to actuate or use the scan tool for back out and select the other option and then give that a shot but it's best to pull the RPO code up and uh, be able to uh, make sure that you got the right one Anyway, th that's it for this video. A lot of people I've noticed, uh, they have no idea which options to pick. They don't know how to, how to figure it out. Uh, that's one way uh, to do it. Now, like I say, the first place you want to look is in your glove box or open the trunk. And you should see a sticker in there. On this particular car, I couldn't find a sticker, so I had to do the uh, QR code option. Anyway, we're done. You guys take care.